Hello, ladies and gentlemen on YouTube. This is Matthew Scooby. Welcome back. So let's talk about movies for just a second. You know, I've noticed lately that we've been having a censorship type thing happening on YouTube and uh, Rotten Tomatoes and Facebook, where 50% of reviewers have been basically taken down for this movie and anything that has to do with any negativity about this movie. If you notice lately, there's nothing but positivity about this movie with all the negative reviews being taken down. Now, this to me makes it sound like that they purposely knew that this movie was, was not going to be as good, so they wanted to market it as positive as possible. So this is a blatant censorship on the community as a whole for movie reviewers and all that. Although I've seen other movie reviewers give this movie a C and their video is not taken down, like a, a grade from A to B to C, right? I've seen people talk negative about this movie, but overall, the um, the reviews for this movie have been nothing but positive. So what this tells me that since they took down 50% of the reviews, that means they're hiding something. That means they want the audience and not know what this movie is actually about. They want to make as much movie, uh, money on this movie as possible. So I'm going to tell you the truth. I actually, I saw this movie and I didn't like it. Not because of Brie Larson. I just thought it was a very bland movie. And I thought out of all the Marvel movies that this was probably one of these worst ones. It's right up there with Thor 2 and this movie. I think Thor 2 may be a little bit worse, but still, I know, or this movie may be worse. I know I'm, I'm a little conflicted still. What I didn't like about this movie was I thought the acting was too bland. The actions were not that the action sequences were not that great, and the overall story to this movie was well not very compelling. Like it was not very generic. This movie had no tone. This movie had some good points. Um, there was a few times in this movie where I laughed. Um, I thought some of the cinematography was well done, and some of the CGI was well done, but. That's all this movie really has going for it. I thought this movie was like watching an actress trying to pretend to be a cardboard box. Like, that's it. I'm not attacking Brie Larson because I don't like her as a person. I don't think she's really that great of a person. But I'm attacking this movie because I don't think it's a good movie that deserves this much praise. You know, when I went to go see Black Panther, a lot of people were against Black Panther, saying, oh, Black Panther's not a good movie. Well, 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 actually, I like Black Panther. I thought Black Panther was one of the best Marvel movies out there. It has nothing to do with uh, being politically correct or anything like that. I just actually liked Black Panther, and I thought it was actually a good movie. However, Captain Marvel is an entirely different story. Not only is the story so bland, but it's so fucking boring. I've heard so many people say that while they're watching this movie, they cannot, they could not wait for this movie to end. Like, 40 minutes in this movie, some people fell asleep and they like, woke up 10 minutes later going, what did I miss? Only to realize that they didn't miss anything about this movie. Literally, there's a joke going around on the internet of people saying, let's spoil this movie. You know how we're going to spoil this movie? Because nothing happens in this movie. That's a joke I've been seeing on social media over and over. Are people jokingly saying, I want to spoil this movie. You know what happens? Nothing. And if you haven't seen it, I'm sorry, but that's what's been happening. Because that's what actually happened in this movie was nothing. The only thing that you got out of this movie was, okay, this chick came from somewhere, got some superpowers back in the 80s, and for some reason she's gone. And she's going to be back and fight Thanos. That's all you got out of this movie. That's literally what I just said. That's literally what I got out of this movie, what a lot of other people got out of this movie. You can put spoilers on this movie of what happens, and literally it's not going to spoil this movie because this movie cannot be spoiled uh, what everyone says about this movie is true. What happens in the movie? She fights the scrolls. Uh, she gets superpowers. She was in the Air Force. She meets Nick Fury. There's a cat. That's it. There's no plot twist. Um, there's no surprise in the story. There's no, oh, I wonder what happens in the story. I wonder what happens midway in the movie. Like, does she overcome her fear? Does she overcome something? No. This character basically shows up and is a perfect Mary Sue. This character is so much of a Mary Sue that she makes a uh, Ray, Ray from Star Wars, look like a saint when it comes to Mary Sue's. Like she, she is the equivalent of a Mary Sue. This character has no flaws. This character cannot do no wrong. This character can't smile. Now, I've heard some people, especially some on the Marvel side, trying to defend her, saying, "Oh, uh, these characters." 
reviewers are just butt hurt. They don't know what they're talking about. Blah blah. Well, we're reviewers, like especially me. I'm an amateur reviewer. I like reviewing movies as an amateur review guy, and I'm just saying what I saw in this movie. I've seen a lot of shit movies in my time. This is probably the worst movie of 2019 thus far. The, uh, 2019 has just started still. It's like in the month of March. And still, we're probably going to get more movies as the year goes by. They're probably going to be way worse than this. But so far, I've seen a lot of movies this month already. This is probably the worst movie I've seen so far in the year of 2019. That's saying a lot. It's not really starting the year off very well. So we're going to see how this whole year plays out. But I get the feeling in my gut that this movie will be on the top 10 worst movies of this year. I just have that gut feeling. It will be on a top 10 somewhere. Somewhere. And if you don't believe me, it, it, it's whatever. So we're seeing a lot of censorship that people can't say anything negative about this movie. We're seeing nothing but positive reviews because 50% of the reviews were taken down. Um, we're seeing people trying to spoil this movie, but they can't spoil this movie because nothing literally happens. And it's already been said over and over that people fell asleep during this movie and that the actress herself was greatly miscast. Even some people at the Marvel Studios and Disney have repeatedly said that, I, I think she's miscast. I want to cancel her contract. If you don't believe me, go online. They are trying to find a way to get rid of this person. And I'm not tagging Brie Larson as a person. I, you know, for what I know, she's probably deep down a good person, but she does not come off that way. She comes off as kind of a bigot and kind of a sexist and kind of a racist as a person. But, you know, you got to separate the art from the person, right? There are probably dozens of actors that I do not like as individual people, but I love their movies. You know, uh, and this is just one of those people. You know, I can't name those people on the top of my head, but there, I, I guarantee you there are dozens of actors that I do not like as people, but I do love their movies. And Brie Larson is one of those people. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. That's all I want to say. I think this is a bad censorship. Uh, I think they're purposely trying to boast this movie to be better than what it actually is. You know, congratulations that they got a box office success. But I'm going to tell you something. Just because you have a high number in the box office doesn't mean people are going back and watching your movie. I mean, there are probably some people out there that are going back to watch the movie. Don't get me wrong. But you can buy tickets for a movie, and that movie can make lots of money, and that movie not actually be good. You know? So we're going to see how this goes. I don't think this movie is really that great. If people have their own opinions about it, that's fine, but I actually didn't like this movie, and I don't see how this movie is getting so much praise when it's obviously shit. And people that saw this movie, you know it's shit. You know. But anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below what you think. Do you think I'm a dumbass? Do you agree with me? Leave me a like or a dislike. Don't forget to subscribe. I gotta go. Peace out.